What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits Cocktail of the Week. Um, this week I want to play around with a little bit of Samel. Now, I say Samel, people will say rum. Um, honey based spirits are a good bit of a bum rap because they don't really fit into a category, especially stuff like the Drunken Hive here from Wayward, uh, which is a barrel aged honey spirit. Now, if you break down the actual true nature of rum being a sugar, and I'm not going to particularly say what sugar, a sugar fermented and then distilled in a pot still or a, or a column, you get rum. And so honey gets a bit of a bun wrap because of that. So honey spirits are called Samel, S-O-M-E-L, so distilled mead, if you will. Now Samel obviously doesn't have an association or a category that people well know, and if just to, if liquor stores suddenly had some mel sections in their in their liquor store, people would think they'd be mad. So they sort of lean towards rum. Now, I have tasted a lot of smells, a lot of honey rums in my time. And once these wonderful COVID restrictions lift, I am very, 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 very looking forward to, to doing some blind tastings of smells against classic rums because I really do think that a lot of the processes that a lot of these distilleries use, whether it be Couchin, um, Divine, Wayward here on the all on the island actually, um, how they make their how they make their rums, their honey rums, is very similar to the process of making a classic rum. And flavor profile wise, at the end of the day, are you going to be able to tell the difference if you're a blind taster? So that's going to come soon. I got, I really am looking forward to that one because I do believe a lot of people will not under, not be able to tell the difference between a Samel or honey rum and rum. So let's give this a quick off. I just want to do a daiquiri. I like daiquiris. I think daiquiris are nice and refreshing. Snackery, so on and so forth. So, shake it in. Two ounces of the Drunken High from Wayward. Now this is distilled pretty, pretty dry. So we are still going to use half an ounce of house syrup. Or like a nice, rich, simple syrup. And we're still going to do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Chilled coop, double strain, garnish with lime wheel, and I'm not going to call this a daiquiri per se, I'm going to call it a drunken hive daiquiri. This is a drunken hive daiquiri using the Drunken Hive from Wayward Distilling. There's my cocktail of the week, guys. See you next week. Bye.